good morning everybody how are we uh, I want to continue this video uh, basically we probably could call this part two if you want I want to continue this video on cancer um, yesterday I was kind of uh, putting it out to you pretty uh, pretty strongly there uh, you know when you sit in my position 40 years uh, as a healer uh, naturopathic degree, biochemistry degree, herbal degree, uh, fitness degrees. I've had a ton of degrees. And none of them means nothing because you learn nothing in school. You learn some basic stuff. Where you learn is working with people over 40 years. And my friend Dr. Jensen worked with people over 75 years. And when you work in this field, our goal is always regeneration of tissue and cellular uh, genetic remembering. Uh, you know, when you look at cells, and our discussion uh, uh, in part one was a breakdown of the human body, and this is essential for you to learn. It is essential for you to lose the fear when it comes to cancer, any cancer. I don't care, they fear pancreatic cancer. We've had so many people overcome their pancreatic cancers through these health programs. Do we treat cancer? No. We don't want anything to do with diseases because they don't exist. And as soon as you realize that uh, diseases are an illusionary concept by the allopathic community, that they're feverishly taking everybody's money and all these labs trying to find a cause, we've all known the causes of these things for a hundred years. And there's always that carrot in front of a person's nose. We're going to find a cure for diabetes. We're going to find a cure. This is all crap. This is all ridiculous, illusionary bullcrap. And it keeps the public in control. It keeps you shoveling out tons of money. And it keeps you in pain and suffering. And eventually, your death. And this is why you must take your health in your own hands and learn the rules of the road. You know, this earth is the biosphere, as I've talked about, the laboratory where it is all being done. Not man, God. And so when you take a look at this planet and you compare our species, you'll find us as a frugivory species. According to National Geographic and many other anthropologists, we are a tropical species, a frugivory species, and other one who is a fruit-consuming species. Very important to understand that because we've, we've co in, kind of traveled or migrated, if you will, from tropical regions uh, into the northern climates. And this has created serious problems. Look at some of these arid countries uh, um, where you have deserts and, and, and very few food sources. Uh, Africa, a good case where starvation is all over the place. So man has to turn and understand what species he belongs to and why the foods he's been consuming has been hurting him. Because we don't look at our lifestyles as having any causative factors to our suffering. And I have to laugh at that because uh, it's been hundreds of years that healers around the globe have told man to get away from proteins, to get away from grains, to get away from the crap dairy products, especially after you pasteurize them. Uh, man's the only uh, vertebrae that drinks milk after he's weaned. After age two, most people around the world can't digest milk anymore because they lose lactase. So why would you drink milk, which is nothing but clogging and mucus forming? I've always said, if you have a tumor and you want to see it grow, just drink a glass of milk and watch your tumor grow because it'll sure grow. If you have tumors in your body and you want them to grow, just eat dairy products, uh, cheese, uh, ice cream, uh, yogurts, keepers, uh, milks. Uh, these are the most mucosic or mucus-forming foods on this planet. There's nothing healthy about pasteurized milk. The chemistry is so bonded. The body has a very difficult time breaking this apart. Everybody says, drink milk for calcium. What they don't tell you is after you ultra-pasteurize it, you can forget the calcium. It's bonded so tightly with other metals and aminos that your body can't use them. So it becomes a foreign protein. This is why. Plus, who drinks another animal's milk that's four or five times bigger than they are? It's the chemistry ratios are totally different in cow's milk than they are in human's milk. Thank you. This is why Dr. Jensen promoted goat's milk. Why would you drink milk after you're supposed to be weaned in the first place? And those babies that come in here with cancer, we've got to get their health issues back in line. We put them on fruit juices. 
and uh, suddenly their tumors disappear, they start looking healthier, their brain turns on, their nervous system turns on, because what people don't realize is the bulk of nutrition in nature is found in the fruits and berries. This is where the bulk of nutrition is, not in the grass, not in the barks, but in the fruits and berries. This is electrical food, this is nutri nutritive food, and so very important, but it's very important that you understand the two sides of chemistry and that fruits and berries and vegetables are predominantly the base or female side of chemistry. You can't eliminate at the cellular level pounds of cellular acids every day and eat acid food and expect to be healthy and happy uh, because you're living in the world of uh, the corrosive side of chemistry and you can't stop an acid uh, with more acids. Uh, oncology has not learned that. Oncology needs to take a trip to the emergency room doctors and have them explain to oncologists why we use normal saline, uh, not just to keep the vein open. There's another reason why we use normal saline, and that is to start the alkalizing process, because if you don't start alkalizing the body that's full of pain and swelling, they're not going to get rid of the pain and swelling, because the pain and swelling is an acid condition of the human body. It's not an auto immune problem. Any medical doctor that uses the term autoimmune has no clue about what causes anything. He's living in a, a surreal world of, of, of unconsciousness because there's no such thing as autoimmune problem. Autoimmune problems exist when no one knows what the problem really is. Oh, diabetes, it's an autoimmune problem. Cancer, an autoimmune problem. You're going to wake up to an extreme ignorant modality, and that is the allopathic community. No offense to you medical doctors in any stretch of the imagination, but last year, one million deaths occurred under the tutelage of allopathic community. One million people died last year, and some people estimate it could be double that. Naturopathically, in our holistic field, none. Now, if you're going to Las Vegas and gambling on your life and you have a modality that's killed over a million people every year and one that kills none, what you gonna, which one are you going to bet your life on? So this is the thing you've got to wake up to. We've been uh, brainwashed in thinking this narcissistic community of, of fine, educated people have, have the knowledge and awareness. And if they don't, we'll soon get it because we have all these chemists and all these people in the laboratories. The problem is these people are misguided, misled, uneducated, and they don't have the ability to see. They don't have the ability to put everything together. Most of you put together jigsaw puzzles, right, where you have a bunch of pieces and you have a picture to look at. I've always said the allopathic community is trying to put together this jigsaw puzzle of health without the picture. Nature paths have the picture before, and it's how you look. It's how you're trained to see and look at the body and, and nature and the laws of nature. We humans break the, every law of nature there is, from food com combinations to physics. We break every law and then wonder why we're sick and suffering. Why half of our money or more, I've had people, I had a lady with a right breast cancer. They removed her right breast, removed her right kidney so she can't eliminate on the right side. Her leg swelled up and she lived in her van in McDonald's parking lots and Walmart parking lots because the medical profession stole all her money from surgery and everything else. She was middle class down to homeless. This is the kind of health care system we have and Obama has forced the Americans to buy into is a system that can't cure anything, that makes the world think they're the smartest people on the planet and yet they are actually the opposite. And so when it comes to health issues, I will say this about allopathy. Surgery and emergency medicine should be the limitation of allopathy. And when the emergency physicians start learning a lot of our tools that we have in nature, we'll even excel in emergency medicine, especially when it comes to burns. Allopathy is brutal when it comes to burns, and the end result is always mutation. In our field, we can get your skin to grow back nice as you please with no uh, scarring or anything from all type, from th first, third, uh, second, and third degree burns. So people don't understand the level that our field has to offer people, and that is the regeneration of tissue or cells. And in that process, you will find genetic remembering of cells. In other words, the genetics, you have to understand genetics in today's world. 
You have to understand why, what is genetics and, and how it affects cells and how it affects your performance, your happiness, and all this. Because genetically speaking, we're losing our bowels, we're losing our kidneys, we're losing our endocrine glands. And that is the bulk of how the body eliminates and functions totally. And we're losing that. Neurologically, we're down like we've never been before. So when we enter surgeries, we go down even more. And we have serious problems from anesthesia. We have serious problems in our world now, in our babies. Like I said, take a look at the obits. Cancer's roaring. So you have people like St. Jude marching these kids in and filling them full of uh, chemo and stuff. No, there's a better way, and you don't have to kill your patients to try to make them better. Does it make sense to kill cells when cells make up your body? Does it make sense that cells that are damaged by acids, which become atypical or cancer cells, and then we use a stronger acid to try to, to terminate them, do you think your other cells are going to just sit by and say, okay, acid, pass by, and, and go take those cells? This is a bunch of crap, and you don't train acids to attack specific cells. That's ridiculous. This is a lot of hype out there, metastasized cancer. Let me tell you, most metastasized cancer is created directly by the allopathic communi community's use of, of um, radiation therapy and chemotherapy. When you damage cells, they become your next cancer. Why would you damage all the cells or potential all the cells of the human body uh, to try to overcome cancer when it creates more cancer. Uh, does it make sense to treat cancer with cancer-causing treatments? I mean, chemo and radiation are the top cancer-causing treatments. And yet, we, we belly up to that. We march right in and take them in, put a port, let's go. How many people die from subclavian ports in terms of aortic aneurysms? How many people die from aortic aneurysms from, uh, from the, uh, putting chemo right into the aorta? Putting this battery acid, almost, is between hydrochloric, even hydrochloric acid can't stand in the stomach without ulcerating it, or the small bowel. Uh, you know, acids break down tissue. And so you must learn the two sides of chemistry. You must learn of the body's gigantic lymph system. This lymph system is responsible for all the skin conditions, all the fibromyalgia, the lupus, for all the, uh, the cysts, the tumors, all the pimples, the boils, the cysts, responsible for all the arthritis. Everything you can name, you'll trace right down to what acids do to the human body and what the human body has to do to fight it. And the two antacids I've talked about uh, in part one is cholesterol and calcium. How many people have cholesterol problems? Why? What is cholesterol? Oh, one's bad. You're bad cholesterol. That is unawareness. When someone tells you, you have, your bad cholesterol is up, that's unawareness. There's no such thing as bad cholesterol. These cholesterols have a specific function in the human body. And when you learn that it's the body's main antacid, cell phospholipids, HDL, LDL, adrenal steroids, and the lipid-based uh, uh, lymphatic fluids dominate the human body, remember, by 75%. There's nothing outside the world that's caused coming into you and hurting you. This is everything you're creating in your body, and now you have to learn how to uncreate it. And you can uncreate it, thank God, as you created this. And once you understand this and understand the rules of health, because there are rules to health. We are not omnivores. We cannot eat like billy goats. Omnivores are dogs, hogs, bears, and chickens. And I've not seen too many humans that looks like dogs, hogs, bears, or chickens. If they're anything, we look like primates. And primates are frugivores, a tropical species, and we're more refined than that. There's no other food source that man can deal with. And when you eat a high level of fruit, you'll start to get away even from vegetables. These things that we're uh, far away from herbivores, and herbivores are your horses, your cows, your elephants. These animals have a minimum of four stomachs, most of them are more. Uh, their GI tract is 30 times the length of their spine. Ours are only 12. We only have one stomach. So there's a huge difference. We don't have the grinders to grind that cellulose. So there's big differences between species, and man has to learn what species he belongs to and get our act together. 
because it's interesting how in our health programs when we put you on a high fruit diet everything you have seems to disappear and health returns to the body you have tumors they come out of the body you have damaged cells they're carried away and replaced it is amazing to see your body regenerate but is it really amazing that's what God does you cut yourself don't you heal and 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 and, and rebuild absolutely and you can do that at any level what stops the body from healing itself acids there's only two sides of chemistry pick one there's only two major fluids of the human body pick one and everybody else's cells sure we have the microbial kingdom most of them are our friends but it's all about culturing medium there are some gnarly bacteria out there there surely are but you know there's a law in nature and all people should learn this including the medical community and it's a simple law the strong survive the weaker consumed is that not true? The weak are terminated in nature. We can't procreate. Uh, nature cannot afford to procreate its weaknesses and have a strong biosphere to support this many different life forms. Would you not agree? Well, then why is man always trying to keep his weaknesses on board? There are some mutated babies that are so bad, we're just sucking down people's money and, and doing multiple, multiple surgeries on them. If I'm a soul trapped in a body that's, that's mutated, get me out of it. Let me go so I can get another body that's healthier. We don't look spiritually at things. We're so engrossed physically. Man has taken your consciousness and locked it in physically so you can't grow. You don't, you just, you're thinking, and this is the trouble with man, you're too focused. You know that old saying, you can't see the forest for the trees? You get too locked into nano levels, you just lost your perspective of life. And if you want a perspective in life, you must develop your spirituality. You must step back from your thoughts and your desires and take a look. Smell the roses. Stop thinking for a while. Stop planning. Stop buying. Stop, stop watching TV and get back and just go, wow, look, there's life going on out there. Look at those beautiful flowers. Look at color. Look how beautiful color is. Just color in itself. All the multiple colors. How beautiful. The smells of flowers and scents. How beautiful. You know, so start tapping that side. If you've got cancer, I don't care if it's lung, bone, uh, 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 blood, it doesn't matter what cancer in the location. Health is the only antidote. Health is the only remedy you have. Return your cells to a healthy condition because cancer is of a cell. You can have tumors. Tumors is just a pocket of fluid. What kind of fluid do you think you find in tumors? The same thing in cysts, the same thing in boils? Absolutely. What fluid do you have in there? Interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid in the human body is blood and lymph. Comes down to that simplicity of that thing. Don't be fooled. Because your life is in your hands, literally. We are barbaric in terms of the, of, of the healing modalities, basically, that you find. And when you get into the natural health field, everybody here is here to help you, make you feel good. Chiropractics, massage, uh, acupuncture, these are all great therapeutic modalities. But if you want a remedy, if you want your body healthy where you have no ills, no complaints, no tumors, no, no inflammation, then you've got to understand what causes all that. And all your body is is just a bunch of cells and two major fluids, and there's only two sides to chemistry. There's not anything much simpler than that. Pick which side of the, the chemistry is going to hurt you, which we know what that is already. Just go out and buy hydromuratic uh, acid at Home Depot and pour it on your hands. See what you say. You know, I took IV therapy. I wanted to learn a lot about cardiac work and uh, emergency medicine, so I took my ACLS, and I, I mean, I took uh, uh, IV therapy and worked in nuclear medicine, cardiopulmonary, just for the fun of it. I needed some money on the side anyway, and so uh, uh, it was interesting. When I took IV therapy at the lo local nursing school, uh, when we got to... Uh, chemotherapy, the nurse practitioner said, well, uh, you know, don't spill chemo on a person's skin. So I asked her, why not? And she said, well, it'll burn a hole on the skin. And I said, well, what's your skin made of? And she said, cells. I said, but you want to introduce this same acid solution into the vascular walls. What's your vascular walls made of? 
cells and she didn't like me very well because she was promoting the the use of a acid that kills most people if you think most people survive chemo I suggest that we have some Senate hearings and we and we go and tear the CDC centers apart and show you all the lies and the crap that's going on there a lot of great medical doctors now are exposing the truth you get online and you start looking up I've got a thick a thick file that I was prepared to use in a court of law against the allopathic community of the, the damage to tissue, the damage to humans that they've created for what in? They still can't cure anything. They still don't understand what causes anything. And, 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 and what good is that? And yet, financially, they're raking these hospitals. Some of them are going crazy. We have a hospital in this town that needs to be, uh, you know, charged with some criminal activity, extortion, racketeering, charged $9,000 for one chest x-ray and an EKG. That, that, that hospital needs to lose their license and that's it. You cannot continue to rip off men. There's no love there. Notice all apathic. You know, I've always said one of the coldest women I've seen on this planet is an oncolo is a female oncologist. Cold as ice. I can tell you, you know, this is about love, beauty, joy, happiness and health. If you don't go along with that, then enjoy the other side of the ride because it is not fun, it's full of pain, it's full of anxiety, it's full of depression, it's full of fear, and that's not the side of life you want to live on if you want to enjoy the planet. If you want to enjoy the planet, learn the laws of health and you will find a very fun time on the planet. But right now, you must wake up. And if you have cancer, understand simply what it is. Leukemias are probably your easier cancers. A lot of people don't understand that. But blood is the easiest system to clean up. In our clinic, our focus is on the lymph system. But by focusing on the lymph system, the blood is assured to get cleaned up. Easy. One of the hardest cancers you'll find is your bone cancers or metastasized cancers where you've allowed chemo acids running through your veins that are stronger than the acids that cause this problem. And this is where you start breaking down everywhere cells are weak, genetically or otherwise. That's where, you, where your hot spots are. That's where all the acids are accumulating. That's where you tend to see your next cancers. And it's just because the acid cells didn't travel from one part of your body to another party, scoot into tissue somehow, and make your brother cells cancer. That's, that's insane. I mean, these guys are putting out theories and crap that, that, that's impossible. So all I can tell you is that you must learn the laws of health, and that's what this website is about. This website or this particular YouTube uh, channel is, a, is for you. It's about health. It's not about diseases. It's not about treating diseases. This is about how do you get a body that's ravaged with acids, that cells have mutated, that you're full of pain and swelling, the skin is erupted all over the place with psoriasis or eczema or whatever, uh, your joints are distended and, and torn, you've lost calcium, you're depressed, you're, you've got the anxieties because your adrenals are down, your lower back's going down, your prostate's going, your ovaries are, are removed or going. Uh, you know, how do you come back from that? Well, what's causing that? Well, there's only two sides to chemistry and only two major fluids of the human body and everybody else's cells. Parasites are just this culturing medium, culturing medium. You offer garbage, expect the garbage cleaners to come in. And you can't keep them out and you don't want to. Because this, this is serious. More of your serious problems we see here is those that have used antibiotics. All your arthritis, RA in particular, heavy use of antibiotics. Killing your bacteria in your body, oh yeah? Creating exceptional fungal growth which leaves uric acid in the body. Oh, I mean, it's a mess. So my, my communication to the allopathic community is stop, learn, grow, and let's all work together in healing this planet. Of course, the World Health Organization feels that we're overpopulated by 90%. So 90% of you guys must be eliminated. According to the World Health Organization, this is their statement. Jesse Ventura ran a whole show on that one time. Uh, well, they're right in a way that we're populating this planet at a rate that the planet can't sustain. And we can't lose all our rainforests and can't lose all our oxygen because we want to populate the world like ants or something. We've got to be smarter, more spiritual, more awakened, more aware, more happy, stronger in our own individuality. 
And that's what you must become if you want to overcome any of these cancers that, that are out there. Remember, it isn't a disease. They use the word, which is bullcrap. It isn't a disease. It doesn't fly in. And it doesn't travel around the land looking for people to attack. That's all nonsense. It doesn't exist. Reality is science as much as we know. Chemistry and physics dominate this planet. Everything is chemistry, and of course all chemistry is just frequencies of electromagnetic energy. Hello. So, learn, grow. That's why I'm shooting this video. I'm a little strong with it, but I see thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And it's not that little percent that don't make it all apathically. There's a large, you just start looking around at how many people, how many movie stars do you know? that went to the treatment of allopathy, and how many of them are still living? Patrick Swayze, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to be stronger than the cancer. You're not stronger than acids, and especially the acids that allopathy uses. No tissue in your body is stronger than that. They don't, you can't sustain healthy tissue in an acid environment. Well, what are they thinking? So, Tony Snow, all these people are now dead. Well, wait a minute. I thought uh, 90, according to Jane Velez Mitchell, 90 percent 90 of the people survive chemo. Do you see that? No, you do not see that. What you see is the bulk of the people die. I remember one guy had a lymphoma. Of course, a lymphoma is all the cancers, but all right, he had a lymphoma. I can't remember the location. He came in to see me, wanted to try our health programs. It was an experimental group of chemotherapy of 432 people. Uh, I think uh, he cleaned the, uh, the lymphoma. He cleaned his lymph system, cleaned up, and the tumors cleaned out of him in about three months. And uh, some nurse saw him a few years later and asked him, uh, uh, said, I, I remember you. You were in this experimental chemotherapy group I managed. And uh, she said, I can't believe you're still alive. He said, why? She said, well, everyone in the group is dead. Now, where's that 95%? All right, I hear this over and over again. The bulk of these experimental chemotherapy group dies, dies, dies. What are we doing? And, and health programs naturopathically, 95% of those people would still be alive. Can't save everybody. But certainly you can save the bulk of, of these people who want to live. Does it, does it require extreme diet change? Absolutely. Take a look at this. This is from the American Cancer Society in 1986. I hope you can see that. 1986, the American Cancer Society came out and said, you know, fruits and vegetables is what you should be eating if you have cancer and if you want to avoid cancer. Hello. Now you can have rattlesnake, kangaroo, buffalo. You can have anything you want. And nothing about diet. I love this when a medical doctor says, nothing about your diet can affect diseases. This is a person that needs to surrender their degree and go quietly away and find a job somewhere in an office somewhere, maybe being a bookkeeper. Because this is insanity. And any medical doctor would think that he doesn't deserve to be a medical doctor. This is chemistry, boys. This is chemistry and physics at work, and you can't run and hide. And what's interesting is all the pathy went down the protein. You need protein. You need protein. Protein is the very thing you don't want to do if you have cancer. Let me tell you, this is all acidic, high nitrogen foods. Uh-uh. You'll never overcome it with this sort of thing. You want to get to your fruits and vegetables, and particularly fruits, because they're astringent. Why would astringents be so important? Or what system is involved in cancers? The lymph predominantly, except for a few blood cancers, but most leukemias are created from the lymph breaking down your bone marrow and spleen. And then, of course, a lot of leukemias are created from the use of chemo. We get a lot of people in here that got leukemia from chemo. I have this beautiful little girl's picture here. Maybe I'll show it here to you. Uh, and, we'll, we'll, and this is just a, a one of millions of kids. This is a little girl here that, uh, uh, 10 years old, she had uh, childhood leukemia. Children are much easier to deal with with leukemia because they're in a growth stage. And uh, they gave her a chemo, of course. She, uh, she started uh, blistering and, 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 and going up, so they gave her steroids. And it's like, push, pull, push, pull. And, of course, the little girl died, typically. And it's like, this makes me want to throw up.
It does not have to happen. And then yet they promote themselves as being the great ones with the white coats and the stethoscopes. I tell you something, wake up guys if you're listening to this because you're in a, a situation where you must gain knowledge and learn what we're talking about and save yourself. Because this is a serious problem and now the kids are full of cancer. Why? What's genetically being passed down the uh, pike here in most lines that are creating these problems? Let's go back to the system most cancers are in, the lymph system. What do you think we're passing genetically? Weak kidneys, weak adrenals. How, how many people have low blood pressure? How about the kids? Extremely low blood pressure. Neurologically, their autonomic nervous systems are shot at birth. And then we give them anesthesia, we give them some neurotoxic vaccines, and then they go into ADD, ADHD, they go into convulsions. I mean, what are we doing to our people for the sake of health? We're lost. The human race is lost. And if you don't wake up, the termination of most people, maybe that's the goal with the World Health Organization. But if you want to live, I suggest highly you learn the rules of the road. You learn the rules of nature. You learn the rules of the body, the rules of chemistry, the two sides of chemistry, the fact that acids is the corrosive side of chemistry. You go to any chemist and he'll tell you that. Most chemists know what cancer is easy, and I gave you one in part one about a CNN doing a special on cancer. Look it up. They probably have it where you can Google it. All, all boils down to one major fluid and one side of chemistry. That's the lymph fluids and the acid side of chemistry, and that's where you can find the bulk of man's pain and suffering. Change your diet, change your intake of chemistry and physics, and the whole thing turns around on you. Yes, there are symptoms in detox where, where you get congestion, you get mucus out, tumors disappear, aches and pains as your body's rebuilding tissue that's been damaged. But you can't rebuild tissue in an acid medium. You can't get healthy in an acid medium. Why would you give more acids to a person? That should be criminal. You prosecutors need to start prosecuting the use of chemotherapy. Judges are forcing children to take chemo. That little boy that survived, he, uh, he only survived because of the natural products that he was taking. And I'll, I'll tell you this. You know, there's this big deal that we all we are low on the supplies of chemo, that people are needing this vital life-saving drug. Are you serious? That's propaganda. That's lies. There's no such thing. This, this, this isn't Jesus' juice. This is serious, serious trouble. This is an acid that will rip your cells apart in your body and we belly right up to it. Hey, give me a dose of acid. Well, people do it every time they drink a Coke or Pepsi or Dr. Pepper or soft drink. Those are cellular acids, about 3 pH, most soft drinks. And that's the kind of acid that will destroy cells and yet we want to give them something more like hydrochloric acid or closer to battery acid. You know the classic name for chemo in nursing? Drano. <laughs> Why? because it has that effect. How many people do you know that when they went into a, an artery down here that you saw the collapse of that artery or vein, vein mainly, see the collapse of that? Right down, the, right down to the brachial and down. So now we don't do this anymore, do we? No, we go right into the aorta. Yeah, we go right in there. You know, this, is, this, is, this stuff is insane. This, this is, man has to wake up from this uh, barbaric, dark agey type of thinking and start realizing what health is really about. And then you can regenerate your children because if you want to have a healthy downline, people have to start waking up to genetics and how we remember cells genetically. How do we increase the awareness of a cell that thinks itself genetically weak? In labs, we're going, we're going crazy looking for genes and this bad gene and that bad gene. We could get rid of a lot of money going that way because we already know it's simpler than all of that. It's so much simpler than all of that. And yet we put a lot of money to research that has no yield to it. Very few yields to it. What do we got? Chemo and toxic drugs? I mean, this is insane. Just look at the news and look at, look at the advertisements about pharmaceuticals. I love the ones where this drug, like Embro, all these drugs causes lymphomas and, uh, and strokes and heart attacks, but you need it. You know, it's like, well, are you serious? This is how apathetic, this is how numb most of the humans on this planet are. They, 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 I know the people that are smart here that go, whoa, no way. 
bad drug. You see this all the time. But FDA, no problem. We'll let this drug on the market. If you have a kill ratio of, you know, maybe uh, uh, you know, 10 people out of 1,000, that's acceptable. Is it really acceptable? Would it be acceptable that my herbs kill 10 people out of 1,000 who use them? That wouldn't be acceptable, would it? As a matter of fact, I'd probably be going to jail. Now, why, why would uh, pharmaceutical companies not be going to jail? Massive killing. Now, you know how many lawsuits a, a pharmaceutical company has at any given time? Thousands. You know, it's amazing. It's just amazing when you wake up what you're going to see. So if you have cancer, any kind, lung, bone, uh, uh, liver, uh, most of these cancers are not difficult for your body to clean up. Not in terms of cancer, the disease, but when you're breaking down your body with acids, wouldn't it make sense that you remove the acids, not add more? That's pretty common sense. So you got to get some common sense in there. I've got to run. I've got an appointment. I apologize that uh, I can't ramble on with you, but it's important that uh, I'm coming. Uh, it's important that you learn the truth and that you take care of yourself because we're a love channel. We're about love. We're about uh, a God. We're about health and healing. And we're not about diseases and and the negative side of life. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. I'm a little um, strict with my focus because we've seen thousands and thousands and thousands of great, beautiful people succumb to this, this aggressive uh, acid chemotherapy machine. And we've gotten complacent. Oh, I guess there's nothing else. You know, that's all I have. Well, start breaking away from allopathy and start opening up the world of natural health. It's huge. It's so much bigger than modern medicine, it's not even funny. That's alternative. We're not alternative. Alternative is when you have uh, it's something new. Uh, traditional is something that's been around since the dawn of time. We're traditional. Uh, we're God people. We've been here since the creation of, of creation, and any animals have used herbs. So this is traditional, not alternative. A slick little change of words. If, if you can't find remedy in health, then by all means go to the allopathic community. But don't go to the allopathic community first. That makes no sense because then we have to fix you up from what they did to you. And it's like, yeah, that's more work. And so we hope you do well. And uh, please uh, listen to these other videos and enjoy our video line here. It's all for you. It's all for you to get well and get your health in your own hands. I'm here to empower you, to make you strong, to get you healthy. And that's our focus. So thank you so much. And you have a great, great day. And get your health in line here. There's nothing any more important than the health of your body to enjoy this planet. So thank you very, very much. And I must run. Thank you. Bye-bye.